Hi everyone, welcome back to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender and today we're doing a shots video to celebrate 500,000 subscribers and to round out five for 500K. If you haven't been staying tuned, I've done four other videos uh, back to back or close enough to back to back to celebrate the 500,000 subscribers. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for watching. Um, over the years, I've been on YouTube for sh shit like five plus years now and I never anticipated having 500,000 people watching my bug on, on screen. So, so of course, massive shout out to all the Patreon supporters. Uh, shout out to people who've downloaded my app, people in the Facebook group, um, just basically everyone that has watched, viewed, supported uh, along the way. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be an exciting couple of years moving forward. And I'm super excited to do today's video. Uh, lots of people, I, I, I did it to myself. I started celebrating with shots videos. I think I've done three now. Uh, the first was to celebrate 100,000 subscribers. And then the next one was maybe 150 or 200,000. Um, and since then, people have become to expect that I will do shots videos every 50 or 100,000, but it's a little bit irresponsible. <laughs> Uh, and it's been a while since I've done a shots video, so it's overdue. And I've already done a couple of cocktail videos just before, so this could get quite entertaining. And I, I, I jumped onto a live uh, live YouTube video with Carl from Alchemix. Uh, I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below so you can check it out. And his suggestion was to do a breakfast shot. I've, by, by the way, none of these shots I have tried or made or consumed prior, um, they're all concoctions except for the first one of my wife she's yeah well not concoctions she didn't create them but she she curated the list and she's rubbing her hands sneakily behind the camera pretty excited to to watch me go down um in flames but yeah the first one we're starting off with a, with a breakfast shot so shout out to um carl from alchemix and his partner sorry i, I apologize i i don't know your name uh, we're going to start with two parts of Jamison's. As you can see, there's quite a few shots here in front of me. Uh, some uh, have additional dilution, some have Baileys, some have low, low proof spirits. So I'm just trying to say, uh, don't try this at home and be responsible with your drinking. Uh, these shots are a tiny bit smaller also. So keep that in mind. I know in maybe in the shot glasses are a little bit smaller. I know in the US, uh, when you refer to a shot, like if you have a shot of whiskey, I think it's 1.5 ounces. These are considerably smaller. So keep that in mind. Uh, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just trying to say that this is a very responsible channel. We're just celebrating 500,000 subscribers. Uh, so two parts Jamison's Irish whiskey, two parts butterscotch snaps. Yeah, that's a great cut. Yeah, yeah, I've got it right here. Two parts, Irish whiskey, one part butterscotch. I'm gonna to refer to my notes a lot, as especially once things progress. Um, then a, a side of freshly squeezed orange juice and a piece of cooked bacon. To start off our celebrations, the breakfast shot. Cheers, Carl. That was a fantastic way to start. That's delicious. That's really good. Um, butterscotch makes it nice and sweet. Easy to drink. I should, I should just do eight of those. That was, that was perfectly fine. Um, <laughs> perfectly fine, that was delicious, tasty. The ones where I start adding mayo into it, that's where it goes all oh, downhill. Next one is a zombie brain shot. So we've got peach snaps, Creme de month and Bailey's. I might move these out of the way. Sorry. So I'm just doing equal parts of peach snaps, creme de month. And Bailey's, which I'll attempt to float. 
kind of a <laughs> okay to the top to the top if you're looking for a really good quality speed pourer check out their bar flow pourers are really good um i'll leave a link to the amazon product listing in the description below so you can check it out and to finish this one uh it's got a shot of gr a shot a drop of grenadine Yeah, sorry, it didn't say a drop, it said a dash. So as it, as the grenadine drops into it, it kind of pulls the Baileys down through the shot and it may be a little bit hard to see. Oh, after I do all this, I'll remake all the shots and get my wife to do them just so we can take some photos and then you'll be able to see a nice blurred up shot. No, no, okay. Yeah, so as the grenadine drops through, it pulls the Baileys through and then just makes these elong, elongated uh, Baileys streaks. So it looks like a zombie brain. Yeah, zombie brain shot. Cheers. It actually looks really cool. I thought it was going to be a really strange mix of peach snaps with peach liqueur with creme de menthe, but it's just really minty, creamy, and then you get this kind of zestiness from the peach liqueur. This is going quite well so far. I'm, I'm not, <laughs> I'm happy so far. I'm happy. Next up, we have Firish Cream, which is equal parts of Fireball creme de menthe and Irish cream, so Bailey's. I've been asked many a times to do some Fireball, Fireball cocktails. I haven't, so this is the first time Fireball will be featured on the channel, which is a cinnamon flavored whiskey. So Fireball. And everyone seems to think that I really love Bailey's because one of the, well, one and a half of the shooters videos that I've done in the past, most of the drinks called for Bailey's, but that was literally the, the only shooters that I knew, so. I don't, I don't love Bailey's. I don't drink it ever. I don't do shooters ever. <laughs> I don't do, I'm old. If I have shooters, it'll be, I don't know, maybe a Campari shot. Yeah, I don't go out very often these days. Should have been equal parts, but it doesn't matter. So to recap the Fire Irish Cream, Fireball, Creme de Month, and Bailey's. Cheers. Similar flavor profile to the last one, except the finish, um, it's just spicy rather than fruity and zesty and vibrant. I, I, that was quite nice. I like the addition of the, the cinnamon flavored whiskey. It's a little bit of a spice, a little bit of a tingle to it. Quite pleasant. Next we have the El Vocho, Vocho? El, El, El Vocho, El Voco tequila shot. So, there's just a, okay, this is where it starts to go a little bit crazy, guys. <laughs> it is meant to be 45 mil. It's meant to be 1.5 ounce, but use my mini shot glasses because we're a responsible channel and we're doing eight. So yeah, that's, that's plenty, plenty. Uh, and then we have this as a chaser. I love my green juice almost as much as I love tomato juice. Uh, this is a, a blend of pineapple. So 90 mil, three ounces of pineapple juice, 10 coriander leaves, 10 mint leaves, and two small slices of jalapeno, <laughs> jalapeno. It's, it's very, it's green, spicy, uh, and coriander is the the prominent flavor there. Prominent smell. Yeah, the coriander kind of overshadows the mintiness of that. I think this would work better with a Blanco rather than like an, an Age or a Reposado. Cheers to the El Vacho tequila shop.
Ooh. Tastes a lot better than what it looks like. Um, the pineapple juice adds a bit of sweetness. There's quite a whack of chili. <laughs> I, I I feel like there may be more than two small slices of jalapeno. Yeah. Why? If I had to have a green juice every morning and that was it, then I'd be I'd be pretty happy with that. Anyways, this is not about juice cleansers. It's about shots. The next shooter we have is the salt and burn. So this one's chilled down slightly. So one of the five for 500K videos that I did was um, around the world, uh, cocktails from around the world. So I featured the US, Argentina, um, Japan, Italy, and Canada. So I'll leave a link to the video up here so you can make sure you check that one out. I've got more volumes as well. So after you watch that video, make sure you comment in the comment section below so that you can let me know what, what cocktail you would like to see featured on the channel from your country for you. So, uh, yeah, I basically uh, put it out to, to vote and put a poll out, and that's with the responses. So that's, that's that those first five cocktails were from those polls. So make sure you make your voice heard and jump on and comment on the channel. Back to the shooter. As you can tell, I'm trying to space this out. <laughs> uh, this one here has two parts of Fireball. So two parts Fireball, cinnamon whiskey, to one part of Domaine de Canton ginger liqueur. Thanks to Manav for buying the back bar. Uh, he bought it for his partner, Heather. So two thirds fireball, one third ginger liqueur. Should be quite spicy. Ooh, spicy. And a teaspoon of agave. I'm not gonna measure this, it's gonna mess up my spoon. Just a quick, that was quick. <laughs> and then rim the shot glass with salt. So I've done this off camera because I'm so organized. Don't laugh, cat. Just a really short shake to combine the ingredients to get that agave uh, diluted, diluted into the drink. And to chill it down. Actually, uh, because of that agave, it's quite viscous. Getting yelled at off camera. So they have the salt and burn. Okay. It's from this point on where it just, it goes downhill. Really, that shot needs a squeeze of lime. It's just, I think, I think it needs lime. It feels like it does. Better. That is much better with just a touch of lime. Still not my most favorite out of the previous shots, but. Needs the line. Onto the flaming Dr. Pepper shot, which is a drop shot. So you want me to do that last? Okay, I'll, I'll save this one for the last. So make sure you stick around for the flaming Dr. Pepper. I'll light some shit on fire and I'll scull it. <laughs> uh, the tapeworm. So this was cruel when my wife picked this one out. Oh God, oh, I can't wait till cat cam. You guys, you're gonna be spoiled. <laughs> Do you want me to try and layer it or just, just, no? So it's one part vodka to one part Tabasco. That's right, one part, not one dash, not one drop. <sighs> That's, yeah, one part, one part, like. Really? One part. It's, yeah, it's better. Uh -huh. 
Here we go. <laughs> Cat's checking it, and it's not equal parts, is it? <laughs> it's the tapeworm cat. Oh, that looks gross. Dash of Tabasco. Oh, this is from Tipsy Bartender, isn't it? Okay, so I will correct this because we've uh, double checked because equal parts of vodka and Tabasco did not sound right. So it's... I don't want to, but... So it's two parts of vodka to one part Tabasco. This is going to be fiery. <laughs> My tolerance level for chili has definitely lowered over the years. That's, that's enough for me. And then we have a bit of cracked pepper. It wasn't spicy enough. And this is where the shit gets interesting. Whoever created this shot thought it would be a great idea to include mayonnaise. Brilliant. <laughs> that looks so gross. Oh, I wish I could get a close up. Okay, so there we have the tapeworm shooter, which is two parts vodka, one part Tabasco, and just a couple blobs of mayonnaise. Thanks, Kat. <clears throat> the, may <laughs> the mayonnaise actually kind of like very strange. The mayonnaise kind of like um, solid, not solidifies, but it stays separate and you feel these solid pieces going down the back of your throat as you drink it. And it's spicy as hell. <clears throat> it's real spicy. It didn't taste horrible. It's just the texture was strange with the mayonnaise and um, it's real spicy. <laughs> Uh, maybe I should try the other hot sauce. I, I, I think that's a sweeter hot sauce. No, no, I'm not going to. <laughs> Whoa, no, I'm good. no, I won't try that again. Uh, she ran over my heart with a bulldozer. So, sorry guys, this is less of an instructional video. It's just, just basically watching me for entertainment purposes, I guess. 15 mil of rum, half an ounce. So I should say in portions because these shooters are different size. So one part, no, sorry, two parts of rum Two parts rum, thanks to Scott. Uh, I'm using Florida Cagna, Florida Cagna 7. And then we have uh, Amaretto and Tequila, one part of each. Lovely. One part Amaretto, an almond flavored liqueur. Already struggling to put the lid back on. <laughs> What's that? Yeah. So there we have a, she ran over my heart with a bulldozer. My mouth is still on fire, so I need to perhaps cleanse my palate a little bit, but I think it's probably about time. I, I keep getting asked to do a Q and A on the channel. Um, if you guys are keen for it, then now, now is definitely not the time, but uh, let me know in the comments below. Would that Q and A be? Uh, from submitted questions and I answer it on, on the channel or would you like a live video? Let me know. So, rum, amaretto, tequila. Cheers. Quite pleasant. Almond, amaretto, uh, yeah, amaretto, almondy uh, rum. And then the agave notes kind of come through afterwards. No, that was okay. That was not too bad. Um, it's definitely warming in the belly, especially after a couple other things. My mouth, my mouth is still on fire though. Like that, there was a lot of Tabasco there. Um, I know some people are probably watching it and they're like, 
chili. You wuss. But uh, as I said, I haven't done a lot of chili lately. Uh, next one is a drop shot. So we're dropping a shot into a beer. Um, this one is the Flaming Dr. Pepper shot. And <laughs> I got told that we were doing this shot and I needed Dr. Pepper. So I went out and it's, it's actually surprisingly hard to find Dr. Pepper in Australia. Now, back in the day, 10 years ago, it was really popular and you can find it anywhere. But um, yeah, I, I bought a couple of cans and alas, you don't actually need Dr. Pepper in the shot. It just tastes like Dr. Pepper, apparently. So we have uh, three parts of Amaretto. Three parts Amaretto and one part, sorry, two parts. If you want the recipes, check out the description. They'll be more accurate than probably what I've been telling you. Uh, yeah, three parts Amaretto, two parts overproof rum. Just kind of like, Kind of layering it on the top. You won't be able, probably won't be able to see it from the camera, but there's definitely the overproof rum sitting at the top of that, so it should light quite easily. Whether if you mix it through, why not light? So the OP sits at 63%, and thank you to Rick W for purchasing the back bar. Thank you for everyone that has ever purchased the back bar. Makes these videos possible. Same with the Patreon people. Happy with that? So I'm assuming light and drop. All right guys, this is gonna be me checking out. So I appreciate you guys liking, subscribing, supporting me on Patreon, um, buying the back bar. It's like, yeah, <laughs> commenting and sharing and everything and showing your cocktails in our Facebook group. I'll leave the link to the Facebook group in the, in the description below. It's mind blowing that you guys wanna watch me do stupid shit like this and just drink cocktails. Um, that's definitely lit, yep. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you probably just drop it in and just go out. But yeah, okay. Cheers guys. The Flaming Dr. Pepper Shop. Oh. It, it's slightly reminiscent of a Dr. Pepper, but not. I think the, the beer kind of overtakes the Amaretto and therefore dilutes the Dr. Pepper flavor. Definitely get a bit of that OP in there. <laughs> that gives you a bit of a kick, but um, whew. I think my filming today is done. I shouldn't be filming anymore. Um, make sure you guys stay responsible. Don't try this at home. I'm a trained professional. <sighs> um, I feel like that it's not super close to a Dr. Pepper flavor. like. The amaretto and the beer, yes, I can I can see how that would work, but with that kind of ratio, with that amount of beer, it kind of overshadows the amaretto and doesn't give it that really strong Dr. Pepper taste, but that OP rum definitely comes through. It's that's that's definitely there. Um Well, I think that rounds it out for today's video, but I just want to say a massive thank you to Patreon supporters, Facebook crew members, um people that have bought the back bar. People have liked, subscribed, everything over the years. Never expected this, I've said it before. Uh, 500,000, so it's a huge celebration. Uh, and thanks for watching me over the years. I hope you continue to stay subscribed and enjoy the videos for years to come. Thanks guys, cheers.